My nightmare client actually started out as a client that I thought was going to be a fantastic client and turned into a nightmare really fast. It was a big company, well not a huge company, but it was like they were doing about 12 million dollars a year, really successful. They'd been in business for a few years. You know, we met, we had a strategy session, they agreed to pricing up front, so I thought it was going to be a fantastic client. Uh, they had in-house accounting, so I figured the accounting was going to be in good shape. And then we started the engagement and we figured <laughs> out, or I figured out, that their accountant in-house was their niece that needed a job but did not know how to do the accounting. So the accounting was a mess. And then I got in, I did a bunch of work, and then they disagreed with the fees after we already agreed on. So they wanted discounts on fees, then they took forever to pay me on those. Then we started to get into the tax returns. And there was an illegal pension plan uh, that had to be unwound. The owners were furious uh, that uh, the, pan the plan had to be unwound and that it was illegal, uh, one that they could not do, uh, that they thought they could. And then on top of all that, one of the owners was getting advice from a friend who was telling him that he could just write off receivables. Uh, you know, when he got to the end of the year, see what his tax liability was and then he could just write off receivables to get his tax liability to zero. So needless to say, this is not a client that's around anymore. Uh, they are a former client, but they were my nightmare client that I could not wait to get rid of.